Yeah, well, that's the whole point. We're looking for horses that's going to do it, not horses that have done it. I mean, anybody know the favorite is usually the horse that has done it already, right? I mean, anyone can see that man of war is man of war. That's my whole point. Trust me on this one. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your speed king. It's TGIF. Thank God it is Friday, right? Hey, another storm is brewing on the East Coast for sure. A bunch of rain's coming. So, again, be careful out there and, um, you know, check your track conditions for sure. Turn your closed captions on, tip sheets. You know the deal. Email us, speedking24 at yahoo.com. So, yeah, you heard me ramping and raving. Didn't know the camera was on, but uh, we're taking a look at a few stake races out there at uh, uh, Santa Anita on Saturday uh, in Arcadia, California. And race number seven is the jits of the conversation about horses doing it and horses that have done it. And that it would be the Sunshine Million Philly the Mayor Sprint, Turf Sprint. Down the hill for California breads for sure. Three-year-olds and up. It's a full field of eight. And Madiha, that's the horse I'm talking about. Madiha, the number one horse, right? Again, um, it's six to one on the morning line. Four wins from 24 starts. Five seconds, six thirds. Delasi is doing the conditioning. I think it's Craig Delasi. And you got the old veteran in the odds, Victor Espinoza. Think he knows his way around? California race courses? I would think so. Well, Madiha is six to one. It's a square price, okay? Uh, and I, this game has always been about value. So I'm always looking for horses that uh, have the potential to run in the form cycle, I guess, uh, one of the better races coming up. So those are horses that we have to be projecting to solve the puzzle that's going to do it. Now, the favorites in the race, in most races, they're coming off one or two of their best races. They've already did it. Horses are more likely to regress than they are to go forward, right? So the point as a handicapper for me is if i got to risk my money, why won't I demand value? So here in the seventh race in the Sunshine Million Stakes at Santa Anita, I like, again, Madiha. Now, when you look at the horse on the form, uh, maybe a cut or two below, speed figure-wise, whatever form you, you know, speed figure analysis, if that's what you do, uses. But again, to me, Madiha wins enough races, four wins, five seconds, six thirds. Uh, Delasi's a decent trainer, uh, not doing that good this year at 8%. But to me, this horse has won across Santa Anita a couple times. You have Victor Espinoza. And again, they're going down the hill, six and a half panels. And the pace numbers, here he goes again with those pace numbers, right? Is, 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 is his splits or her splits? That means quarter to quarter to quarter to quarter. That's what I mean when I say splits are even numbers, right? In other words, Fast, late, la, la, la. the horse just runs a nice, uh, always run the same type of splits. And the speed figure on these horses are always typically a cut or two below the top horses in the race, which is typically the favorites, right? Now, a blind man could see the favorites in the race. Our job is to solve the puzzle of what can possibly happen at a great price, right? In other words, the horse has a better chance to run better than his odds would indicate. Most people would say it like this, outrun his odds. Basically, that's what we're saying, right? And to me, Maleha is a horse that is 6-1 to one on the morning line, okay? Not that horrible. It's a square price. It's double digits. And ain't no world beaters in here. So why not give her a shot? So I will. I think two races back on November 4th at Santa Anita, it was an allowance race. She's stepping into a stake race, obviously. Won the race with Victor in the yards. Ran a decent speed figure. And, of course, the pace numbers to me, and when I, again, the pace numbers are really speed figure numbers that are taken at every quarter call. I'm a sucker for those that run even because those horses more times than not are more uh, uh, reliable than horses that run fast early or horses that run fast late or what we call a closer. So again, 
I'm getting a square price on the number one. Sure, on paper it looks like she's a step or two below the top two horses in here, which is probably the number six stay and scam and the number two uh, Rose Maddox, right? But again, those horses already did it. You don't need me to give you those two horses. Do I see something in the race that suggests that this horse may run one of his or her better races? Well, Mahela, is, I think that's the case with the number one horse. So there's going to be my top pick for sure. All right? The number one. A long about way to say it. Having a bunch of fun on a Friday. Now, she better be getting up because the number six horse is the one to beat. Trained by my boy, my favorite California trainer, Doug O'Neill. Sheep reader, Doug O'Neill. Back in the day with Ragged Sense, well, Doug O'Neill knows how to read the sheets and he knows where to place his horses. So, anytime you see Doug O'Neill, trust me, it, it's been calculated, right? And the number six, stay and scam. To me, is clearly the horse to beat at five to two. Well, just like I said, the reason she's five to two is that she's coming off a of four a, a, a win by four limbs. She's already done it. Don't mean she can't do it again. And this is the one they have to beat. Okay, so please use the number six horse on every ticket, vertically or horizontally. Doug O'Neill ain't no joke. Three wins from seven starts, two seconds. Doug's clicking at 15%. Guys, boy, Mario and the Orange together, they're 15%. The horse is coming off of a 43-day uh, layoff or from Del Mar. Yeah, this four-year-old is going to be ready to run. The number six horse is clearly, clearly the horse to beat and our second pick. And we'll be on all our, our tickets. Along with our top pick, who might do it, the Madeja. The number six horse, very, very strong contender. Our third pick, well, to round out our trifactor, why don't we look inside to the other favorite, Rose Maddox, right? Well, Rosie ain't not a bad girl. Six wins from 19 starts, eight seconds. That's 14 times in the money, first and second from 19 starts. How can you knock that? You can't shake no stick. And one third, right? This California bred by Gabe, uh, Grayson is awfully, awfully good. You got your boy in the arms, uh, classy people. It's Flavian Pratt. Three to one on the morning line. You got to use the number two if you you're playing vertically for sure. And if we were to round out uh, in an eight horse fill a super, well, why don't we just throw in the uh, Charcy Way, the number eight horse underneath. Not bad, very speedy. It looks like it's going to be a speed duel between the eight and the four. Let's use the number eight underneath. Hey, this horse has a tremendous record. Seven wins from 12 starts, two seconds and two thirds. That's 11 times in the money from 12 starts. You understand why we want to use the number eight horse, at least at worst case underneath, is Jonathan Thompson. Uh, T John Thompson. Jonathan Thomas clicking at 22%. Hey, don't leave the number eight out if you're playing vertically tries and super factors for sure. So, in this year's Sunshine Million, uh, Maleha, right? That's the horse that I want to see if she can come and round and run in one of her better races at six to one love the value on the horse love the splits love the pace figures on the one horse that's who i'm going with on top but my second horse i'm going to use equally who i think is the one to beat it's doug o'neill right never have a problem with doug the number six stay and scam so for us one six two eight go ahead and box it up we're trying to bring some value to the game. Still trying to pay the mortgage. Again, one, six, two, eight. Box it up. Race number seven, approximately 6.30 on Saturday night. That beautiful Arcadia, California. It's Santa Anita. That's a long about way to say, I love value. My name is Wayne Bolton. I'm your speed kid.